Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of World of Warcraft, the board game. Slowly but steady we are approaching the game and so Neferin is not too far away from the Bulwark but on top of this there aren't many rounds left to go. That's pretty much one, two, three, four, five rounds to go. If the track makes it here, I think we lose it right away. Um, if Nefarian makes it here, the game also ends, but then we at least can try to engage him or we have to engage him. Of course, if we don't level up enough or get some more cool items, then we also don't really stand a chance against him. I think Marco hit the nail on the head by saying that we are in a dire situation right now. So the thing I have to do is I want to level up at least once more. I want to get rid of some of those war tokens here and maybe try to take out one or two additional yellow or red quests. Not sure if I have enough time to be honest because again time is fleeting. But yeah, let's get started. And I think I will start the round with Sandra. So the first action will be to challenge this blue ghoul there. If she has still enough life points and or energy left, then she might do a second challenge against this quest creature here, the Murloc. So yeah, let's see how things go. And I think she will use her shadow burn talent here so start of your dice pull step spend three energy to place two hit tokens in the damage box awesome so let's do that now let's take this three here so we will spend this and this means that we can put two damage tokens to the damage box right away so in theory we only need to inflict one more hit with one of our magic attacks and yeah, then this Ghoul is down because the blue ghoul only has a health of three. I will not use the shadow bolt because I need the energy, but of course I have the imp with me, who, which provides blue and a green die. And we are looking for a six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the case. So basically, one blue six would be enough to take out that ghoul. Let's see what we get. There we are. Not a problem. This ghoul is down. Awesome job. Let's spend her second activation to challenge that Murloc and we have the fishy business. So overall this could give us five experience points and that's definitely not too bad and also some gold which we might need to buy some awesome stuff. Again I will not use my shadow bolt because I really want to keep the energy. Not sure if that's a wise idea but mm, yeah let's go for it and just roll them as they are. So let's see. We are looking for a six. Okay, that's not good enough indeed. So we have to remove those, or oh, those are basically hits, but we still have a lot of rerolls to go. That was really weak. Um, okay, we gain plus reroll. No, we don't get it. Okay, that's really kind of a problem, but we have a lot of rerolls. So plus four weapon specialization, band staff, so five rerolls we can do. So let's go for it. I definitely want to reroll all five of those. Let's see, so we are looking for a six or more. Perfect, here is six or more. Those are two hits that are good enough to take out the Merlot before, before he gets a chance to hit back because he only has a health of two. We rolled one green one here, but this doesn't trigger the special ability of the Merlot. Awesome job. Let's check out the reward. That's four coins, but only three experience points because that's a level one quest. Well, wow, that sucks. Okay, cannot help it. One, two, and three. Three cannot really help it, but we are still allowed to grab one triangle item. And here we see a cobalt buckler, which is kind of an upgrade. And this would be a perfect piece of armor for Shalara. One additional green die and another reroll. Okay, I will keep it for now and we'll hand it over to Shalara later, I guess. Let's take a new quest. And again, I decided to go for a yellow quest. Ogres in Anderhal. Me smash, you die. Okay, level four quest, five XP, but one blue item and 13 gold. That's not too bad. So let's spawn one green ogre to the ruins of Anderhal, which happens to be just around the corner 
of Shailara, so this can be a pretty cool target for both of them. So maybe they should team up after Sandrai has taken her turn. That's not too bad actually. So let's put this ogre here. Ogres are pretty tough as well. But yeah, they can really give us some experience points. In theory, I also should have spawned another blue wildkin, but we have one wildkin already on the board. And I think there is only one blue one in the box and also not in the expansion box, at least as far as I could check. So yeah, we are not spawning this guy and this could actually help us a lot. Okay, then it's Shalara. And I think, yeah, she will move one, two spaces here. And with her second activation, she will go after this wraith here. So let's see what she can do. For now, I will not activate her Rorik Strike. She could use her mana potion here to get one because she can spend one, then get one back and spend another one. And then she would have enough to cast Heroic Strike, but I think we want to do that for the next round. So right now we really want to see how things go. Problem is this Wraith has a threat of six. Yeah, six it is. So let's see what we get. And who? not so sure. Okay, those are all hits. I would definitely take them out. We can use our What's it called? Cruelty. So we can make this a six. This is a hit. That's not too bad, actually. And we get one reroll here, one reroll from the longbow. We can spot one die for an attrition, but I think attrition doesn't count against wraiths. So reroll plus one, one, two. Yeah, that's only two rerolls. That's how it is. Yeah. So I think I will go for this and this. Okay, let's see, we need a six. Okay, at least one more hit. Good thing is we haven't rolled any ones because for each one we would get a curse and this is really something I don't want to get. So let's place the tokens. Because of our piercing hull, we get one defense token right away. That's already good news. Here we see two, oops two damages from the blue dice that's already great oops here we see two more shields it's also okay but i think we don't need them here we have three more hits they go to the defense pool and theoretically we can place one attrition here because we spotted one of those but yeah unfortunately we cannot really use it against wraiths so let's remove it right away. So we have not killed it, but he, the Wraith has an attack of five. We have more than five, so we can remove those. We are not taking any hits. Let's move those up. And unfortunately, the Wraith has a health of 10. So we are only halfway through beating this guy. And I think this time I will use my heroic strike because I will lose one of those blue dice. I cannot use the shadow melt again, but take it from here. Let's move into the next combat round. Then I want to use my heroic strike. So I will spend one energy. Of course I need two. Then I will cast the man minor mana potion or I will drink it. Rather this count this card to regain one energy. So I regain, I spend it. I really hope that this is supposed to work like this, but this is how I used to play it. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but I will do it anyway. So this allows me to gain one additional red die for the heroic strike. So let's roll our dice. Still looking for six or more. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, those are two hits. Let's put it that way. Wow, and everything else is crap. Okay, I have one, two, three rerolls basically. So I will definitely go for this this and yeah I think I will go for an additional red die here so let's see what we get again we don't want to see any ones basically let's remove those okay that's definitely better so this is a hit this is a hit we are not suffering any penalties from the wraith we get one shield because of our piercing howl, two more shields because of our defense roll, 
and we get two more hits from our attack. Well, this really sucks, but it's okay. It's enough to not taking any damage, but it's not enough to take out that Wraith. Oh, this really sucks, but yeah, let's move into the next round. And again, we are rolling one less red die and we still need three more hits. Let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's two hits. That's a hit, that's a hit. We can use our cruelty, so that's a hit as well. And I think we still have two rerolls. Yeah, I think I'll go for those two. Because I have enough defense. Yep, that's another hit. Not too bad, not too bad. That's definitely enough to defeat the Wraith. So we get one more hit here. We are looking for two more. Here we have three. In total, we have six defense because of our piercing hull. So we are not taking any damage here. Awesome. Uh, and yeah, those three are then really enough to bring it to 10 health points or hit points and clearly enough to kill or basically re-kill that Wraith here. Awesome job. Let's move over to the rewards. And that's nine bucks, four experience points. One, two, three, four, level four, hooray. And of course, we still get some items. One triangle item, and we can choose from two blue items, which isn't that bad or really is great, to be honest. But let's do the level up first. So let's move the token. Again, we can fully reheal or rest, so we get Four energy, awesome. We can use the heroic strike twice in a row now, which is awesome. And three more health points. So in total, that's really a great progress so far. Let's check out which talent to get. And I think I will go for Enrage. Place one hit token on this card for each health you lose during combat. Start off your place token step, spend up to four hit tokens from this card. Gain attrition plus one for each token you spend. This is really awesome and can really cause some serious damage. At least I hope. Okay, let's see what we get for the items. The triangle item, Neophyte's Rope, add a green die to your dice for reload plus one. That's pretty lame. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to. Yeah, I can keep it for now because I'm not my back limit. I'm still allowed to draw two of those blue items and that's much cooler. The Dustfall Ropes. Okay, that's actually helpful, could be helpful for for Sendrai, that's better than her current. And this is the bone studded leather, pretty much the same stats yeah, as the soldier's armor. So yeah, this is not good. So I think I will keep this and might give it to Sendrai when they team up at a later stage of the game. Let's see what the next quest card would be. A yellow quest, unexpected visitors. As you set up camp for the evening, you cannot shake up the feeling that you are being watched. By the time you see the hungry eyes upon you, it is almost too late. Okay, that's level 4 quest, which is cool. And we have the reward, 15, 6 experience point, and 3 blue items to draw and choose one from. That's not too bad. So let's spawn those, oh, wow, 2 red ghouls to the uplands, which happens to be here. Again, we cannot spawn the wildkin because we already have the wildkin or the blue wildkin on the board. Let's advance the turn tracker. One, two spaces. Again, we will see an event card. And here we are kind of lucky, it seems. Ears and heads of the wild. The special rules for the solo play say independent creatures gain plus one attack and plus two health until blue trophies worth 10 attack value have been gathered. And we don't have to move Nefarian and we don't draw an additional event card. We also landed on this spot, so we are allowed to draw our very first purple item card. Let's see, and that's the Crackling Staff, 18 bucks, level 5. Add three red dice to your dice pool, end of your reroll step for each eight you spot gain attrition plus one and reroll plus one. That's not too bad, but yeah, I'm not sure if I will get Sandrai to level five, to be honest. Let's move into the next round. Let's start again with Sandrai. She will move one, two spaces here. Now she has taken her activation. Now she will spend two energy, which really hurts, and two health, but this allows her to remove the first war token here. That's not too bad. And I think with her second action, she will just rest, which allows her to regain twice 
her level of energy or health. She has a level of three, so that's six. So I think she will then go for two health and four energy. And this brings her back into the game. Okay, then it's Shailara. She will move one, two spaces here to South Shore. And with her second activation, she will do a town action. And for 13 bucks, she has right here she will go for this solid iron mole from the merchant deck of course she puts it underneath her back and i think yeah why not she will sell the neophytes token so this gives her basically one piece of gold back and for 14 coins she will go for another power the cleave which she puts underneath her spell book. Now she's more or less broke. She only has one piece of gold left. And now we come right into the character step. So she will take the battle shout back into her spell book. Therefore, she will put the cleave on this space, spot 1-8 to gain attrition plus three. And of course, she will equip the solid iron mall and put the best. Oh, she could have sold it as well. I missed that. Because you can sell from your equipped items during the market step but yeah okay i missed that now but maybe uh, i can do that at a later stage or so yeah let's move the turn track one two spaces ahead again we will see an event card and i just noticed there won't be any more event cards so unless we are drawing an event card that has a three on the bottom we should be fine at least in respect to nefarian moving on okay that's actually good news hopefully so let's see what we get and oh man another war the underhall war this really sucks okay maybe that's not that good news to be honest we still have to move nefarian one step closer but let's place those tokens first so one goes here to the ruins of underhull and the other one to heartland this is really bad news in total we have five tokens on the board so this means plus five attack plus five health i think this was pretty much it because i cannot try to level up and remove those tokens of course i get some rewards for removing or let's say removing finishing a war entirely but i think overall that's not that great but maybe this is what i will do i will not give up hope yet we still have to move the farian one step ahead and normally the weaker faction would choose um so we could move him here or there it really doesn't matter not sure if i would be allowed to do it that way so i will roll it a die so one two four is basically sorrow hill and five to eight is garon's withering okay Garwan's withering this fate is not on our side it seems so yeah let's see how we can take it from here let's try to end one of those wars so i will activate shailabra first she will move one two spaces here she doesn't have to engage that quest creature right now then she will move one two spaces here to balnir farmstead there she will spend two energy so going down to two here and two life points in order to remove that war token here. and that was the second war token of the domination war which means we ended this war and the character who ended the war gets five goals and the way how i understand the rules each character now gains two experience points and this is really important uh, especially for Sandra as she moves closer to level four, but of course, Shalara also moves closer to level five. Awesome. Then it's Sandra, she will move one, two spaces here. This was her first activation and with a second activation, she will move one space to Sorrow Hill, another space to the ruins of Underhull. And now I can think if I want to end this war as well, but I think we can still do that after we engaged this ogre there but this was already the round so let's move the turn tracker one two spaces ahead we see another purple item here and here we see death blow a sword could give us three red dice but we already have the solid iron mold so i think hmm, could be okay because we would roll an additional die but i'm pretty sure we will not be able to buy this weapon 
Okay, let's do one more round and I will start with Shalara. One, two spaces here to the ruins of Underhal. And I think then we will start that combat there. So again, we will flip Shalara's token. Sandra will also flip her token. Of course, they will fight him as a group. And yeah, let's build some dice pools, but let's have a closer look at the character sheet of the ogre. It's a green ogre, threat four, that's okay. 10 attacks, 12 health, and this is really bad. The active character must lose two health for each one and each two result. Wow, this can be pretty, pretty, pretty tough to be honest. So we really need those rebolts, but the threat level of four is a good thing. So I guess I will start with Sandra again. And again, I will use the shadow burn talent here. So I have to spend three energy to place two hit tokens to the damage box this isn't that bad and then i will use my shadow bolt as well to get two more blue dice because of our improved shadow bolt as well let's see we're looking for a four and we don't want to see any red ones or twos good thing is she only rolls one red die in this case that's really good thing so let's see okay that's a hit that's a hit that's a hit that's a hit and that's a hit that's already pretty cool we have two rerolls here we can spot one here that's another two rerolls that's four five basically six rerolls so yeah, let's roll all of them again we are looking for fours here that's also it okay overall that's not a bad roll to be honest so in total that's four more hits here that's already half his health that's awesome we get one attrition because of our sky caller, also great. One defense token and one hit token here. So overall, that's really not that bad. I think that's something we can really work with. Let's do the dice pool for Shalara. And I think she will not use her heroic strike for now. Not sure if that's a good idea, but yeah. Now let's see what we get. Okay, that's actually a very cool roll. Hit 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 and hit awesome 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 stuff this is a hit oops this is a hit and those are not hits we're still looking for some more defense dice uh, yeah I think we have only one reroll uh, yeah, I think I will go for this die then so let's remove those let's reroll Four, four yes awesome another hit let's place those tokens we get one defense because of our piercing howls we get three more defense for our green dice that's already cool and we get four more hits oops because of our red dice and we can spot one seven to get one attrition so overall this should be really enough to take him out no okay this is not enough that's clear we have not rolled any ones or twos he has an attack of 10 let's see it's three four five six seven eight nine ten awesome we are not suffering any wounds so let's move everything up here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points worth of damage. What an awesome combat round. And bam, this guy goes down. That was really great. Let's check out the reward. That's 13 coins. So let's give seven to Sandra, but I think it doesn't really matter. And six to Shalara. We have five experience points. It's a level four quest. So Shalara or Sandra gets three plus one because she's still at level three. So in total, four experience points for Shalara, uh, for Sandra, and only two for Shalara. That's pretty okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, four, Shalara. Most important thing is we managed to get Sandra up to level four, which brings her to six health points. That's not too bad. And wow, 11 energy. Okay, that's really something she can use well. That's for sure. We are still allowed to get a talent for her. And I think I will go for Siphon Life. Start of your dice pool step, regain one health and attrition plus one. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much 
No, it's not the end of the round because we are still allowed to take one blue item here. So let's see. Awesome! This is what I wanted to buy. Witch Doctor's Cane. Add three red dice to your dice pool and another. This is great. This is really great. So I will totally give this to Sendrai. And I noticed I forgot to do some exchanges. So I will give the Cobalt Buckler to Shalara. She cannot equip it anyway. And I think I will give the, yeah, the Dustfall Ropes to Sand right here, of course, right now she has to put it also under her bag, but she can equip it in a second. Then I will also remove this war token here. So Sandra will do that. So she will spend two energy and oops, two health points basically to remove this because this lowers the attack and health by one, which is really important for the upcoming fight. And she still has her activation, so I think she will just rest twice. Her, so that's eight, so yeah, she can basically go up to her maximum again. So basically getting all her tokens back. She just spent to remove that war token. And that's pretty much the end of the round. So let's move into, uh, I think, the final character step for this playthrough. So we will equip the Witch Doctor's Cane here. Put this back under her back and we will also equip the dust fold robes instead of the rope of apprenticeship so overall we just gained an additional green die but we lost one real but i think for sandra that's not that big of a deal and shalabra will also equip her soldier's armor basically so she just got an additional green die and an additional Reroll. That's not too bad to be honest. So four green dice here, one reroll, get one automatic shield from the piercing hole. So overall, that's okay, I guess. Let's move the turn track one, two steps ahead. Again, we are allowed to draw a purple item, but we will not be able to purchase it. A screeching bar. Wow, this would be so awesome for Shalara. Unfortunately, we cannot buy it. That's really, really, really a pity. No, oh, I don't see a chance to be honest. And yeah, this is pretty much yeah the turn before the last turn. And during the next round, we will definitely engage Nefarian. And originally, I was thinking to put that into a next episode, leaving you here with the click cliffhanger. But then I reconsidered what the heck. Let's go for it. Let's jump into the very next and last round. So let's have a closer look at the character board of Nefarian. Right now, we still have two wards tokens left so luckily I was able to get rid of some of them so he has a threat of 7 an attack of 15 and a health of 29 each character's attrition value is halved so this is already but at least rounded up and during the place token step the active character may only place hit tokens in the damage or defense box equal to the number of 8 results rolled and only reds and blues are counting here. all other hit tokens are placed in the attrition box but of course this will not affect the first rule here and yeah if we manage to bring him down from 29 health points to see where we would actually win this game but yeah don't count on it so with the first actions of both of our heroes they will move to garon's withering and then one of the characters will challenge him the other character will join the battle so let's build the dice pool and again i will start with sandrai and she will definitely use her shadow burn at ability so this allows her to place two damage markers to the damage box and I think this is not affected by Nefarian special ability at least this is how I understand it and this is how I play it it will be tough enough anyway then we will activate her demon we will definitely go for the shadow bow that's only one this gives her two blue dice because of the improved shadow bolt get the demon armor we can use the dustfall ropes now, so that's two more green dice. We get the witch doctor's cane, which is three red dice now, which is really awesome. And two more blue dice because of the sky caller. And here we could use this one. Yeah, let's let's do that. Why not? So we will also activate this one here. So that's two more energy so this gives her two more blue dice and that's the maximum she can roll in respect to blue dice so you cannot re roll more than seven 
dice of one color in your dice pool with the expansion that's eight, but I'm not really playing with the expansion here. So that's her dice pool. Not too bad, to be honest, but his threat level is a seven. So we are <laughs> not many of those dice will actually make it. We have some rerolls, of course. Let's go for the low hanging fruits here. So that's a hit, that's a hit. Okay, yeah, awesome. That's already pretty much it in respect to natural hits. Luckily, we still have some rerolls, and that's pretty much six rerolls. Yep, that's the case. So I will definitely go for those. I really need also some defense as well. He's 15 attack, yeah, that's the case. Three of those, and yeah, why not? Let's take two of those and maybe one additional blue one. No, actually not. Let's take three blue ones because we are looking for eights on blue or red dice. So I think this is what we want to roll. And again, we are looking for sevens here. Okay, at least we managed to get two more sevens. That's as good as it gets. We still have two attrition now. Unfortunately, that attrition value is half, but we will take it anyway. So before we forget, that's one attrition. And we can only place hit pokers to the defense box here or to the damage box from his equal to the number of eights rolled on the blue or red dice. So that's only one. And I think I will go for the defense one here. So that was pretty much this die. This is gone. Yeah, and the rest are defense boxes. Okay, I think this is allowed. This is how I understand it at least. Hit tokens in the damage box or defend. Yeah, I think this is allowed. So this is a defense. This is also cool. And yeah, those are then basically three attrition hits. It's okay. It will reduce his health, but of course it will not help us to yeah, defend us because he will hit back with 15 attack. But we still have Shalara with us and I will not activate her heroic strike because I need the energy for something else yeah let's see we're still looking for a seven or more okay hit 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 a lot of defense but not enough here we can use our um, cruelty so that is a hit that's also a seven that's great and we still have one two re-rolls at this point in time yeah that's only two so i need this one that's for sure. And I will go for this one here. And the rest goes away. Let's see, we are looking for an A. This would be really awesome. And one of those. Awesome! We can use the cruelty twice, basically. So we can make an eight out of this because this gives us an attrition plus three because we will now activate the cleave. So we spotted this eight. And in total, this gives us an attrition four. Unfortunately, this is half, but at least two additional attrition. So that's two more attrition going there. Here we see two defense and we get our natural defense because of our piercing hull. So in total, that's three more defense. We have two blue eights, so we can place those into the damage box and we will go for those two, I think. So they will go here. So that was a those two, the attrition we already taken care and those remaining, that was an eight and a seven and the remaining two have to go to the attrition box, unfortunately. Yeah, and now Nefarian will hit back with 15 attack points. We only have seven, so we are being dealt eight points worth of damage. Wow, that's devastating. So I will remove four from Shailara and those four points or four points worth of health gives her four and rage or hit tokens on her and rage ability so she can spend it during the next round when she places token these are basically four attrition hits you still have to remove four more hit points take those from Sandrise or oh, she's pretty beaten. So let's see what remained. So that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 hit points out of 29. Wow, 
that's really tough. It would, would be the half, to be honest, if it wouldn't be for that many wars, to be honest. But yeah, I cannot help it. Let's move into the next combat round, and most likely the last. And again, Sandra will use her Shadow Burn ability to blaze two more tokens here. And of course, we must not forget that she regains one health at the start of her Dice Pool step. Awesome, we can definitely use it. And we still have two more life points from her Imp. Okay, we might have a chance to survive this second round. Potentially. Let's roll those dice. We are not using the Shadow Bolt this round. Oh, what an awful roll. One, only two hits. Are you serious? Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So we have one, two, three, four re rolls. Yeah, that's only four. Hmm. Let's take one, two, three. Ah. Yeah, what do we do? Ah, let's go for another defense. Four re rolls. Let's remove those. We have one attrition. Let's see, and well, okay, at least uh, another hit here. Those are completely useless. So that's one attrition because she has attrition plus two. Yeah, that's the case. We can place one here because we rolled one eight. This is another defense. And here we see uh, another attrition hit. So in total, we are at 18 damage. Not too bad, but of course not or not nearly enough to take him out. So let's hope for something very cool from Shalara. So let's roll those dice. Then we are looking for sevens. Hit, 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 hit. Not too bad, not too bad. We have one reroll here. We did not use the thing one here. So two rerolls basically. So I will definitely go for those two. Those are getting removed. Let's see. Wow, that was really bad luck. Yeah, that's clearly not enough. So we gain one defense because of our piercing howl. Then we can spot this die here, which is definitely great. And this would give us attrition plus, plus three. So in total, that's two more attrition hits for Nefarian when I use the cleave ability now I'm out of energy. We have this eight here so we will put this eight there directly. Again this is the piercing howl. Must not forget that. Hopefully I didn't do that. Hopefully I'm mixing things up. Okay we place this one here already into this box. This is basically one more defense and those two just go back to the attrition. And then we still have four points here on the Enrage box, but unfortunately it's clearly not enough to take him out. These are 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Are you kidding me? We are one wound short. Okay, we have to survive this round. We have five defense, but we are getting 10 points worth of damage. But I think we should be able to survive this, to be honest. Okay, so here we have two. So this uh, imp is now down. That's great. Here we have three. So in theory, we would be dead. But now we are using our minor healing potion. Discard to gain one health. So we are at one health again, which is great. We still have to do five more wounds. Sandra has five more wounds and she also has a minor healing potion. So she also is at one health points. Wow, this is really close. And with this, we are moving into the final battle round and that's for sure now. But I think I got a little bit ahead of myself. For once I did some counting wrong. So we were at 27 instead of 28. And I also missed that this enrage, he gives you nutrition plus one. So this value is also halved. So again, we would lose two remaining points. So in total, we are still Still looking for four more hit points and poof, this is really tough so build the dice pool for Sandrai and we must not forget her Siphon life talent here which gives her an additional health point but I think this won't matter for this combat round so in theory we are looking for four blue eights basically or any combination of sevens and eights between red and blue but hmm Okay, what are the chances? But let's see. For something good. 
and actually this isn't that bad okay let's see maybe we can work with that because this is a hit oops those are two hits actually that's really not bad that's really not bad so we have one reroll two reroll three reroll four rerolls so yeah of course let's go for all of those and let's hope for something cool awesome wow this was really a great roll to be honest not enough to take him out but at least something we still have two attrition we have to have that's one but i think we will not get him with attrition we can only get him with ranged combat and overall that's really not bad so but let's not forget the attrition anyway okay that's two shields we will certainly take those so those are out then we can place basically two hit points there which could be kind of enough so we are at 27 now and i hope i do the maths right so those were two eights we can still place one eight here and a remaining has to go to the attrition because total that's four hits but we can only place three hits into damage and defense we need two more blue hits from Shalara and then yeah, we could actually win this game. But yeah, it's all a matter of a die roll and some of you who know me know who oh how badly I can roll. So two blue hits and we should be fine. <laughs> of course we need some aids in order to be allowed to place it into the damage box. So let's see. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad actually. That's a hit. That's a hit. And that's a hit. And we can make this a a but we don't have to do it right now. We have two rerolls, natural rerolls, but we still have our minor agility potion, so we will use it right now. This gives us another reroll, so we have three rerolls. We need this, that's for sure and we will go for those two basically let's remove them we already have one here and we can make this into an eight so if we roll a seven now a blue seven we can actually win this game let's see this oh one reroll now and let's see no way ah oh, this is so unfortunate mm, okay so we make this into an eight, we make this into a seven. That's at least something, but hmm, not, not good enough. We can also spot this die now. So we gain an attrition. No, we don't have any more energy left. So that's already it. Yeah, that's the hits we can assign. And that's really so, so unfortunate. We get one damage of oh, defense token for the piercing howl. We get one more for this die we can place this one here now we are really one wound short ah this sucks okay we have still two more so we can place one here but this has to go into the attrition we still have four more attrition tokens on our enrage but unfortunately we have to half it so that's five and yeah we already know the trail nefarian will hit us for 15 points we are only at six yeah, so we get nine more wounds and none of our heroes will be able to take those. So we are basically defeated and moved here to the ruins of Andorhal. Oh, I think I lost it some time when moving some dice around. So he's, he's still here. But yeah, this pretty much ends the round. And so this marker moves one, two spaces here to the end track, which means we just lost this game. Can you believe this? If this would have been a seven, we would have won this game. This is so, so incredibly close, but nevertheless, I absolutely love this experience. It was really so full of tension, loved every second of it. Awesome. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my little playthrough of World of Warcraft, the board game using the solo rules, which I really like a lot. They are so easy to deal with. They are really clear in respect to those event cards. It's tense, it's close, you notice it's so one die more or maybe two more wounds available or something like that, we might be able to, to win this game. 
really, really great, great experience. Hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until then, bye bye.